anything actually. Yeah, so he's changed his wall as well. It used to go all the way up into heaven. I oh no! Oh, Angel survives that. One HP left in the tank. That is very lucky. That wall used to be a lot further out. It actually went into heaven a little bit, and you would combine it with the uh, poison orb to completely block out that site. I think the problem with it is it gives too much surface area to cover for players pushing back through, and especially when oh. you're up against these weaker buys. Cena gets away with taking down Angel, who had been tagged up before, but I don't see them getting a whole lot more done especially with Aaron tagged up. They're trying to... Oh, the right-click wow. classics. That's actually what I was leading to. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to manipulate the right-click of the classic. You saw Aaron jump-shotting, yeah. not getting any success, but eventually Shadow, he... <laughs> with one kill on Jet. <laughs> um, so there's a poison orb up for window. Again, this is what we're expecting. Blocking out heaven, blocking out spawn. Zeke tries to cross back. He can't get anywhere. A Spectre going to be upgraded now by Zipan, and there goes the... Oh, no, Angel! Ooh. He knew he dropped it, so I'm surprised he's not peeking it or doesn't have a teammate doing that with the gun. So Vax able to at least grab a second as he moves away to sight. There's another oh angel falling, and it's a three versus two FPX falling apart at the seams. Shadow has got shock darts to play with. He's in position over towards bathroom, but Meadow's going to have to do a lot. He's been spotted. Now the spike being defused. Shadow gets pressured, so he can't get his shock darts out. That nano swarm not quite extending enough, and there we go. The defuse goes down, and the Killjoy ultimate expanded. For a pick into Hookah, Defending team playing the smart move here, staying far back. They know they're facing a semi-eco. There's no reason to push and play close range. They come in here in the smoke. The push comes through. There's two picks come down, three picks come down. This seems to be a free round One for Null Pinky. Cena surprisingly stepped into the snake bite there, but in the end, it comes out to be a flawless round. In fact, I support his teammates who were ready to push, but he got shut down immediately. On the back of that, Nolpenki will play this one slower. Yeah, absolutely. You see here how good the recon dart actually is with the Viper wall. You can literally just stand next to the wall and just wait and shoot and do full damage. It's insane how much utility can be used to get these killers. Our Shadow gets it back now. Aaron picks Angel out, and it's a three versus three here, so the post-plant play styles are coming in as there are probably going to be some lineups coming in here, possibly. No well, I would assume so. There's a Hunter's Fury pop. Shadow has got the shock darts. Nades are through, but it doesn't matter. All the kills are going their way. Frag after frag, leaving CNED to clutch it on his way to get that operator. This to me to see the double op deployed oh. and shut down by Angel as well. Vac on long. He even had support, but both headshots. This guy entry frags with Brimstone. He does it with Omen. And for God's sake, he's doing it with the Viper as well. Angel showing no respect here, being the IGL. Held the freaking puppet master still he just runs forward like a legion commander and just pops two headshots like it's a walk in the park that's ridiculous with the vandal as well that's the thing like spray transferring with a phantom i'll accept with a vandal that quickly versus an op you get the first shot off then you kill the guy who was there specifically to trade him just stop it it's nasty and we talked about angel you know the old man in the team he's surrounded by very young players yeah. i see that look you're giving me <laughs> <laughs> but he is he's way above the average age age of this team and yet he's still able to deliver he's got that big brain and you know there was always that conversation of uh, is angel going to be able to hold his own in this yeah. you know his counter strike here did start to dip off towards the end and he even said himself and another interview came out recently where he backs it up the fact that he was getting tired of cs he wasn't excited anymore but yeah. he's got the passion when it comes to valorant and he certainly still has the individual oh, skills oh That's wow it's just, it's just textbook performance. It, even if you're lucky, unlucky there, you get picked off. As Shadow gets Aaron and another round goes to FPX, it seems like to me, in this it was interesting. You like yeah. to see inside their minds. Uh, <laughs> Angel was just watching his teammates, not calming too much. I like it. Big thunk. <laughs> <laughs> Dead men don't talk. I was, was kind of questioning myself there as the round ended. But yeah, here we go. So the plant went down after we saw the lockdown in play to push those players out of position. Aaron's just shooting at the bomb in case this kills your utility. Meadow and Xiao. Nice crossfire to trade out Zipan. And now Zeke. He's in a 1v2, but both of these players are low. Xiao going out with the molly, doesn't use it to heal. Instead, pops it on top of the spike, making sure it cannot be defused. And Zeke's got no choice but to run for the hills and save this weapon through to the next round. Heartbreaking, considering it's now the last round of the half. I've, I've, had, a, I've had a long, long look over there, and I know a lot of the professional players have too. Shout out Hiko. But we look at a 9-4 <laughs> scoreline, and FPX, they're looking for double digits, but with pistols in their hand, they're unlikely to get it. Meadow, I think he's hit the edge of his mouse mat there <laughs> right click the wall just in case <laughs> maybe it's like a an alpha play like i'm over here come get me oh my goodness 
Zeke gets Angel here. It looks, you know what? I'm kind of glad that they won the round, so we might have an even game. And Zeke, Mando gets two with the classic. What's oh, going no. on here? There's no way they're going to win this with just pistol, is there? Please, no. I mean, I said it was the alpha play, but maybe getting all these kills is Meadow just about misses the right click, but this could be a 1v2. Instead, it's pretty unwinnable for Shadow. Okay. He does get shut down. What I'll, what I'll say there is that the smoke placement from Aaron, they're four man stacking the A side as well. Now, Penky, two players through Bath, if they commit to this, they're in trouble. You've already got the Hunter's Fury committed. Zeke gets tagged. Zeke doesn't get finished off. And look at that. Fox faded out by him. He tries to dash in to take down the Sova, now realizes there's players up close, but he's able to take the frags and so it looks like the die have lied to me as it is a four versus two and all the players on null penky need to make big mistakes and die to these weaker weapons in order for fbx to win it and this is probably the first time you've ever oh, lost a uh, dice roll isn't it as shadow gets yes but it's still a two versus three it's still possible to retake this maybe not oh the dash comes out shadows Still lurking around into lamps here. Tries to find something with the recon dart, but they're playing this perfectly. They have no reason to peek. He's just he's just outman at this point. There's like there's no way he can win this as Aaron just does a run and gun. That's what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> the caster curse. <laughs> that literally he's holding <laughs> Why in this round, Vac? I know he's got an operator, so what I was going to say was you can you can up the pace in a round and go for a faster play, but I fundamentally left. disagree with popping it now. This is the worst time he could have done it, and I'll give you the exact reason. You've got your smokes, right? Your cloud burst. You can help to set up on the execute, let your teammates go first. If they start to die, pop your ult and try to recover the round, sure. But versus a low buy like this, maybe they suspected it to be a force, I'm not sure, but considering the buy he's up against, it definitely wasn't the best time. Because when you're up against a full buy, you can pop that ultimate and then oh entry for your team. If you get pressured or cut off in a close situation, you can do that. But look, either way, it's a flawless round. But right? That it wasn't just bravado when he ran into elbow. Yeah. Sure, a bit of it was. <laughs> but at the same time, there was purpose to it. It was definitely necessary. Angel making use of the oh, judge. He did this not is, see the drone. This is massive. He's the up, drone did he's not see close. Angel. He drops it, and there's the kill to Vac. An opening, and with low HP on Jasmine, this is a fantastic start for FBX into a low-buy round. They've also got Xiao playing over towards Huka. Oh, he my goes, God. And down goes CNED. Oh my god, this is such beautiful performance on a low buy. They have two sheriffs, and now Xiao has a phantom, you know? It's five versus three. This is very winnable on a round where they literally spent almost no money. They were setting up for the next round, right? They were happy to give 11 rounds over to Null Penky, but instead... It's looking like they could win this one, definitely. Jessman, he's got a, a sliver of HP. Uh, Any of these weapons will take him down instantly. You've got shock darts up, snake bites, full utility for Xiao. Xiao's even got his ult. He's going to pop this. He hears the players left. on the other side. He's got flashes to play with. No, he's not going to pop it because he's in a bad position. Oh! For afterwards. There's the first. Here's a player up close. He's dancing around the cage and finding a 3K. Disgusting round by Xiao. He played as you ran up through mid on the right side. He played there where he found the success with the judge before. This time he switches over to close lamps and that blast pack would have left the player safe had he have been where he was before. Four, but instead, he was there waiting, going, hey, I have legs. I'm over here so. now. <laughs> Easy kill. Follow through the TP, chasing down the spike, getting the frags. So well played by Angel. I love this ultimate as oh well. It's maybe a little bit too deep for my liking, but it does mean that they'll be super low HP when they come out. Angel forced back and being pursued. They know now he's not in his ulti, and he gets dropped by Vax Swing. That's just a really important way to tag the Viper inside the ultimate. Shadow gets seen in here as well. Vax refracts Shadow as well. It's three versus Three. This is such an important round as the plant goes down with one minute left on the clock. Zippen gets it back as well. Shao gets Zeke as well. It's a one versus two situation. This is actually doable. Oh my god. Zippa needs to stay alive because Meadow is on the rotate. He's coming in to help. And look at that. Zippa actually falls back so that he can't be pushed. But they oh, oh, what? what a flick! He wasn't even looking at him and he flicks over faster you... than I. He is the one that puts himself down to a Spectre. That means faster play. That means ultimate Ooh. coming through. He doesn't see anybody. Oh my and god. can't even fire off the rocket before he's dropped. Zeke, though, quick to trade and get two. He doubles it up, gets the man advantage for Null Panky. This is doable. The nade perfect to Jesmond, forces him out of position. Zipan, good for one. Ultimate online going through with the rocket. Goodbye, sweet dreams. Jesmond hit in the face by that, and that's the spike dropped right in the middle of the site. 
It's looking like it's all done and dusted. And as Aaron falls, it is confirmed. Hopefully finding something, maybe finding an open bomb site. But Omen and Cypher already smelled the bait. There is a tripwire there. All the info comes out. They have not got much time left as they're just playing this from side perfectly. Oh my Great god. Nade. That pushed Aaron out and split these players up. Oh, oh well, that's just wrecked him. So Jasmine just picks up a 4K. <laughs> and it's one of those situations where 4Ks are sick, but when they've got pushing here into vents, it's a good position for Breach to be it. Oh my god. Oh, it's playing freaking whack a mole here. That's so close. What's going on? The stun comes out. Angel is stunned. If they push, this can be perfect. Oh, but he still gets it. What's going oh, on? No. He turns around to flash, but he gets killed by Aaron. The refrag comes out. This is insane. What's going on? Zeke actually takes that Sivan as well. It's three versus three. 30 seconds 30 left seconds on the clock. Left. They need to get something done here. As Sage just gets killed while she's trying to climb the rope. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> what kind of eco round is this? Oh my god. So it's all down to Meadow with a Vandal in hand. One victim already spotted. He knows exactly where Raze is as well. Oh but god. even if he got that kill, Aaron was come leading the charge. The entry fragger now picks up the operator. It's in his hands and he's looking for a victim. Jesmond has managed to sneak on into B main with those cages. He pops the ultimate. Now going to get the info to play with back swinging out wide. Catches Angel on the operator and Jesmond in on the alternate angle. Completely paranoid up. Meadow's only got a stinger. And on this range, there's no way he wins the fights as James has seen it. It's just paranoid here as he gets pushed out by FBX. It's such Two a powerful a push here. And the second time, he just gets entry fragged by a sheriff headshot. He must have a real headache right now. What's going on? The Sage Wolf comes out. Shadow's on top of the wall. They did not expect it. But Vac refrags him. This is so close. Three versus two. Zeke and Vac has almost zero HP. Vac is you just trying to find... As Shao gets the rest out on Shadow, this is very much winnable. As the breach all comes as well. This is a freaking play field right now. Vax gets Shao, Zeke gets Shadow, and just like that, another round goes to Null Panky. Five more specifically, I suppose, Shadow to grab those trades. I don't like Shao going up there alone. The breach ult came out here, but it didn't really give them that much as... as Oh, actually, you have Omen in the backside, but Vac finds him. Shadow and Shao gets yeah, refrags here. Three I versus three, 50 exactly seconds left on the clock. This looks very much like an ideal situation for the attack and team right now. Shadow gets a CNET as well. The Sage Wall is up. Of course, Jet tried to make a little tricky play here. It didn't really work for him that well. He's not really had the greatest time CNET for these last rounds as Race tries to find something here. Beautiful peek there by Zeke. Two versus two, nice little Zeke peek. Oh my god, this is so close. Oh! Oh, he missed it. He forced him into the panic ultimate, leaving Zeke down on a little bit of low HP. So is Xiao, but Xiao can always heal up, or at least in a little bit. He can no, he can't, because he popped it onto Shadow a second oh. ago. Either way, Zeke swung on, and I like the fact there that he... But with these playstyles are so different compared to the, the other ones. Also, what the heck? He doesn't check his life. That's the artist boost. We've seen him do it so many times in Ignition Series events. But right here in First Strike, the first time I've seen it, it doesn't work for young Zeke. Seeing it drops in the early round as well. And when you've got pistols, when you've got the likes of your stingers, that's where you make those kind of plays. But he just didn't check the right corner, unfortunately. And I would say left corner, it's not common. The players actually hide in there. If they're going to hide, it's towards the, the big dumpster on the right, either yeah. up in the corner or down behind it. So it is an angle that I can definitely forgive not being checked. And that's also actually a theory I have that I think that for a lot of, as this probably is, the, yeah, there we go. I, I have a theory that for a lot of players, it's to go for that is because of the lack of mid presence, but with no backup because he was trying to be sneaky, they oh. end up losing their smoker. Xiao able to pick up one though. Here comes the wall in towards the spawn. The ultimate popped as well. The showstopper looking to the back of the site. This should oh be it. My God. No! For that player, but it's a trade. Zeke does well to at least get one out of it. They need to smoke off the cross, but hey, they don't have a smoke they don't have a wall so aaron's able to take that fight alongside his teammate vac and try to really harass them on the cross left down to a 2v2 shadow, oh, in with shadow. The and double comes out of it gets back outside the cloud burst and now it's all down to vac he's an animal a beast oh. but it's not gonna work this time as meadow shut and the paranoia for aaron going down to the stinger to afford that extra utility they're confident in going in for this force buy and they're not at that much of a disadvantage the dash oh. in from jet is huge but seen it actually does get caught it's a trade as shadow plays the back of the site waiting patiently the flash not connecting the swing through the smoke shell was hoping they'd be blind but they're not and now it's difficult because angels just being lit by the right click classic he tps back to spawn 
As Med, oh, gets headshot. He does deal the damage to Zeke, but in this 2v2, look at the HP. They're all so low. It should be so easy, easy for Jesmond, at least, to close this one out. If they can catch him off guard, that could be the difference maker. Fire Utility, planted. thankfully, we can see it now in these post plans. There's none for FPX to initiate these fights. They have to rely on winning these duels, and really, they have to rely on hitting the shot straight away. Even that won't be enough to take down Jesmond. This should be no pankies. This is just literally, this is an aim labs exercise right now. Literally the first one who hits a headshot here. It's, oh my god, he's so close. Jesmond gets Meadow down. Look at Angel's at 6 HP and it gets back. What's going on? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? How does this he win that? This is terrible news for no pankey. And both teams have a pretty solid economy here. FBX have been handling CNED really well uh, so far, but I want to see, there we Ooh. go, see, clearing out the utility on the push forward, blast packs, they use cages to counteract the one way, everything about this is so smart from Null Panky, but they get punished, they actually end up losing the fight, at least initially, here comes a double rolling thunder, the return working out for Null Panky, oh CNED in with the first kill, the second kill, he's looking to come up and maybe double his kills by the end of this round, the swing by Meadow, got oh, catches one, I love this the flash on its way here's the swing oh. and the kill shadow on the spray down secures the spike at least for a moment but it goes back to a 2v2 yeah, no now we have a two versus two, and the bomb is down. So this is unfortunate for the attack team's arrow gets meta as well, but their HP is so low. Oh my god, Shadow, can you shoot them in the knee and they're finished? Oh my god, what has got the f Oh my god, I, I don't even know what to say. It's just, that was... Advantage for Null Panky. I'm hoping we will see the CNED redemption story here. Hopefully, it's it's Angel's already taken out. The Queen Bee has been taken out. Let's see if the workers can still be able to push this retake. It's the final round here. They need to win every round from now on as the rest comes out. Suddenly, it's a 5v5 retake. Well, Shadow actually walls off behind just to be safe here. This is getting really interesting. It's a, it's a total 5. Uh, Shadow takes out Jesmond, actually. Oh my goodness. So with Jasmine dropped now, now Penky need to find the kills elsewhere. And Meadow and Shadow are making sure that doesn't happen. Meadow ready for the swing, but Shadow deals with it first. And it's all down to back. Oh, a 1v4 no. and a one-way. These Meadow has put those one-ways.